All right, around the uh, <clears throat> 18th of this month, January, excuse me, January last month, um, when I was out cutting wood and, and out about my daily business, I noticed I started to see things out of the corner of my eye, and I could not understand what I was seeing. Now, while I was seeing these things, um, a lot of you have had this happen before. Um, a lot of you Christians, you'll get something out of the corner of your eye and you'll go to look and it's disappeared and you don't know what it is. But later, it screws up, it, it, it makes a mistake and then you get to see it. Sometimes you might see a demon around a corner or some kind of creature or something. But I noticed on the ground around corners and shrubs, I saw stuff trying to get out of my, away from me and hide. And I kept saying, you know, something strange is going on. Well, what happened was God started to let me see. I started to see scorpions. Now, these scorpions were about mm, four feet from tail to their eyes. And then, of course, their pinchers would make them about six feet with their pinchers. Or you can just say they were four feet with their tail curled up. And I'm asking God, what are these? And he kept saying, just look and pay attention. So out in the fields and on the road and in the parking lot and in the shopping center and the spirit realm, I am starting to see scorpions. I'm starting to see three scorpions here, five scorpions there, ten scorpions here, um, twenty or thirty over there. And all of a sudden, the next thing you know, I am seeing scorpions everywhere. And I'm starting to see them pop up everywhere. And I'm saying, God, what? with the scorpions. Why are you letting me see these scorpions? So here's what he said. He said, go to 2 Chronicles. Go to chapter 10, verse 18. Go to verse 18. So I did. And I'll just read the, the last part of it. Now, what went on here is Rehoboam came out of Egypt to take over Israel after Solomon died. And uh, all the people came, all of Israel came to Rehoboam and said, Remove the yoke off of us that your father has put on us and lighten the load for us. And Rehoboam said, All right, here's what I'll do. Let me think about it for three days, and then after I think about it, I'll see what I can do for you. But in the meanwhile, y'all go on about your business, and I'll think about this matter. So he went to all the elders of Israel and, and Rehoboam asked the elders, he said, fellas, what do you think I should do about this situation? And the elders said, if you treat them nice and treat, treat them kindly, they'll be your servants forever. And he took their consideration. He said, all right. And then he goes to all the men, the old uh, high school buddies and everybody that he grew up with. And then he asked him, well, what do you think I should do about this request? And they said, chastise them with scorpions. Our fathers chastised them with whips, but tell them you're going to chastise them with scorpions. So the Lord gave me the scripture right after letting me see the scorpions and what's coming to America. Now I'll get into more of this. Wait a minute. Whatever my father loaded you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke, my father disciplined you with whips, but I'm going to discipline you with scorpions. And I asked God, I said, God, what are you saying here when you say you're going to discipline them with scorpions? He said, the taskmasters of the Chinese and the Russians are going to be chastisement with scorpions. In other words, he's saying, these task taskmasters that are coming to America once a nation is sacked are going to rule you with the stings of scorpion and they're going to be brutal and they're going to be vicious. Now also a lot of these scorpions are going to start stinging the non-believers and they're not going to know why. Now in the book of Jeremiah chapter 15, which I'm going to get to in a minute, talks about this when God says, I'm over you, Israel, I'm over you, and this is what I'm going to do. When God started showing me the scorpions, 
he said, I'm going to chastise America with scorpions. And it's going to be extremely painful. So this is also coming. A lot of you are starting to feel stings of scorpions. And this is because your spiritual life is not pleasing to God. On the January the 29th, which would have been last Thursday or Friday, right here where I'm at right now, where you see me sitting, a travail came over me, the same travail that came over me two years before the World Trade Centers got attacked. And God had been speaking to me and said to me two years before the World Trade Centers got hit that America was going to come under uh, a powerful attack and to pray. And I prayed and I told people to pray and I went into travail and I cried and I cried and I cried and I couldn't understand what was going on. And that period of time that I did that, it lifted. And then two years later, I was working in uh, Newport News when the announcement came that the World Trade Centers had been attacked. All right, the same travail came over me here in this garage uh, last Friday. And I, the, the pain and the crying and the wailing was so intense and lasted for almost six hours, and I'm by myself. That when it was over, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital because I thought for sure I was going to have a major heart attack of the severity of the travail. Now this travail was not, those of you who travail in intercession, you'll know what I'm talking about, but this was pain, heart pain beyond imagination. And I cried, and I cried, and I wailed, and I begged God for mercy. And this is what He showed me. that Red China is getting ready and preparing to invade the West Coast. And when the Chinese come, now remember, God has purposed this in their hearts to do this. Here very soon, and I feel it's going to be real soon, that the Communist Red Chinese are going to invade the West Coast. They're going to take the West Coast hands down. America is going to be caught completely off guard from Seattle, Washington, all the way down to Baja, California. And I started praying and I'm saying, God, how are they going to do this? I mean, it's, I mean, they just can't walk in. He said, yeah, they are. <laughs> he said, they're going to walk right in. The whole nation's going to be caught off guard. And the way they're going to do it, it's going to be beyond imagination. Now, I was talking to Sarah, my scribe, my webmaster, about this. Now, what God was showing me is that when China comes, they are not going to have any mercy on the men, women, or children. And this is where the travail is the, the ungodly uh, uh, army that's coming. It'll be about 25 red Chinese soldier to every one American. They shall be coming like locust or like the African harvester ant. They're going to come by the millions upon the millions upon millions are going to swarm. They have been given the orders to kill every man, woman, and child to save engineers, to save certain things, and to take and keep certain things. Certain educated people are going to keep, certain military officials are going to try to get, and I'm going to explain to you very soon, uh, I'll explain to you on this next one. This will be one of two, all right, the next one's going to be one of three. So I'm going to explain to you how um, God was showing me how they're going to invade.
Hi. So the situation on the West Coast with the Red Chinese coming and me explaining basically when they come, they're going to come in just waves like harvester ants. All right. The way God showed me a lot of this is going to happen and basically a lot of what the other prophets are saying also is with the cataclysmic weather patterns that are now developing and God's judgment that is sweeping across the land and bringing judgment on individual states um, that when these super earthquakes start to happen more likely what is going to happen is, is that California is going to be leveled to the ground. I'm not necessarily so sure right off the bat that the first set of earthquakes that hit California will um, put it in the sea, but I do know it's going to level everything. And with the massive chaos, panic, and confusion going on, from what I'm getting, the communist will set off a couple of ground detonations, there will be a lot of terrorist uh, attacks going on, then the earthquakes, and then the open doors for Chinese invasion. Something's going to set it off. I'm not quite sure if that's right totally, but the Chinese are going to be able to just walk in here. And they're going to come in massive container ships, uh, bringing all their supplies, their Navy vessels. See, our news media does not um, tell you that China has a 200 million man army. There's 200 million soldiers in the Red Chinese Army. Now in Revelations it says that they'll kill off what one quarter or one third of mankind. Uh, this goes back to the world bankers. Uh, it goes back to the nucleus of New York City and all what's, what is there. And so with the head bankers. Now I could pull out some stuff that would blow your, your mind about these guys and what they've done, but they've sold all of our debt to Russia and Red China, and then when it all came apart, they, they were left holding the bag of the debt, and they are not happy campers. Now most of this, uh, of what's happening in the world today is economics. And the book of Ezekiel, if you read and study the book of Ezekiel, you will see in the book of Ezekiel, it's all basically about economics. So, I encourage you to read the uh, book of Ezekiel. Um, because there's a lot, a lot about economics in there. And what provoked God there. So... Basically, when the Chinese come, from what he's showing to me, it's just going to be such a mass invasion. It's going to be like harvester ants. And they're not going to have any mercy. Now, I'm telling you, those of you in California, you need to start looking at the signs. Uh, if you had, when the earthquakes start to hit, it's time for you to go if you live through the earthquakes and get out of there. It saddens me that our nation has not um, heeded any of God's warnings since World War II. Uh, America, with its pride and its arrogance, and with the trilateral, the Illuminati, and the head masons getting in and taking over government.